1981 Triumph TR7 automatic. Now I've got this one running um, because the battery does seem to be a bit flat so bear in mind we will charge it up but worst case scenario you know it's 60 quid for a battery I would think. So it is running, engine sounds lovely. I did have to jump in with the booster pack like I say. I put the booster pack on and it fired straight up with no hesitation whatsoever. So we're going to do this one a little bit, a little bit backwards. We'll do the engine running first. But like I say, I think we will charge it up, but you know, worst case scenario, it wants a battery. Uh, it hasn't been used for a while yet again, sort of since last year. Uh, and now it's sort of the season, people start pulling them out of the garage and doing bits and pieces to them. But that engine there sounds lovely. It's ticking over nice and quietly. It's off choke. We'll go on in interior, see if we've got an oil pressure gauge. We'll have a look. But like I say, automatic this one, which I haven't seen an automatic one before. I've got an oil pressure gauge there, yeah, but like I say, ticking over nice and smooth and quiet, you'll get a little bit of a rev. I've got no problems at all with that one there. Engine's lovely, no overrun or anything like that. We'll get the bonnet back down, we'll do the body work. But like I say, start first time with a booster pack there, so it might need a battery. Gotta be honest about these sort of things. Body work wise, we'll start off on the bonnet. It's all nice and shiny. It wants a little bit of a, I'd give it another polish by hand, but it's all nice and shiny. Nice and straight across the top of the bonnet. There is little bits here and there, sort of in the paintwork. But overall, lovely and presentable. Good one, this one to take, you know, nip down to the shops in it, take it to your local car show. You'll be quite happy with that in the field. You know, nice and shiny, nice and straight. But it's all good. Down to the headlights, across the leading edge there. Can't see any rust there. Onto the bumpers, again. They're all all right. You've got a little bit of paint flake here and there on the bumpers. Easy job to sort that out. Across the lower valent is all all right. Again, a little, little bit of wear on there. It's not brand new, so what do you kind of expect? But nice and straight. The bumpers aren't sagging anywhere. They're not hanging off. They're all nice and tight against the wings. Where sometimes, you know, if they're being dunched and scuffed, they kind of ping out a little bit. But they're all good. And as we go on the driver's arch now, is all nice and straight, but there is, like I say, a little bit of mark in the paint here and there. Automatic, this one. Automatic. I've never seen an automatic one before. So that can sort of appeal to different markets. Along the driver's door, again, is all good. Onto the rear arch there. Put your hand behind it and feel the metal lip. You know, it's not full of fit or anything like that. Little bits of marks in the paint there. But nice and straight down the door. Door gaps are all okay as well. Onto the rear bumper now. Corner's all good again. Nice and straight level. All good across there. All the light lenses. A little bit of a mark in that one. All nice and clear. Nice and straight. All good across there. No scratching around the boot lock. Onto the boot lid itself. Again, a few little marks in the paint. Across the top of the scuttle. All all right across those seams there. Onto the passenger side. Again, nice and straight down both sides. Good colours. It's missing. The little silver trims that go across there on the top of the sill. Again, all good and clean down that passenger door. A few little marks in the paint there, you can see. Just take a step back and you can't really see them. Again, a few little marks on the driver's wing, but no rust that I can see in my opinion there. Onto this sort of navy blue roof is in lovely condition, nice and tight. Those back windows, a few creases where it's been down, but they're not yellow, they're not cracked, they're not full of heavy scratches, so you can actually see out of them. So they're all nice. Across the seams on the roof, all nice and tight. And across that front leading edge, you've got no sag in it. That roof's really nice, really good condition. I've got no problems with the roof at all. Sits well. You know, nice and tight in there. It's not sagging. It's not got loads of wear on it. 
happy about that one. Onto the interior now. We've got this navy blue with a light with a light tartan. Door cards all nice and clean. Driver seat bolsters are good. It's nice and firm. It's not really saggy. You're not sitting on the floor when you sit on it. So that seat's all nice, no rips or tears there at all. We've got some TR7 rubber mats. The carpet underneath, navy blue, is all lovely. Rear parcel shelf, all nice and clean. Inside of the roof, again, nice and clean, no dirty hand marks, no mold, anything like that. It smells nice and fresh in here, doesn't smell damp at all. Dials are all lovely and clear, nice and straight there. Across the top of the dashboard, you've got no real marks at all. Centre console's all nice. All nice and clean in there. The plastics aren't cracked on the top of the dash anywhere. Glove box is nice and clean and straight. Centre console's lovely. Let's see automatic, this one. All those dials are lovely and clear to read. You've got no problems with that at all. As we jump out, we'll go around the passenger side now. And we'll do the boot as well at the same time. But, you know, not much wear at all on that seat. Nice and firm. We'll go into the boot now. It's open. We've got a half tonneau in there. Wants a bit of a clean down, but again, that's all nice and usable. This all helps this sort of thing with the tonneaus. I'll try and get that boot carpet up if you bear with me with some dodgy camera work for a second. So, so we can have a look on this boot floor. I'll just lift that out now. Inside the boot floor, spare wheel, that's all all right. Once a little bit of a clean in there, but all nice and, and straight. As we go up the passenger side again, door cards in nice condition. It's not coming off the pins, it's not hanging off, it's all nice and tight. You've got that seat all again, lovely condition. No problems with that. What a nice place to be, really. There you have it. The Triumph. TR7 automatic in blue with the blue roof and the blue interior.